Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to another yarn. Thank you so much for joining me. I have so much fun every time we have a chance to talk. So today is Sunday. So on Sunday, I make washcloths and scrubbies and things along that line to donate to the American Starfish Organization charity. This charity is collecting washcloths and scrubbies until Veterans Day, November the 11th, and they're giving them to homeless veterans. That's not all they do, but that's what they're doing right now in collecting those. I'll have information for them in my description box. So each week, I come up with two more, one or two more crocheted washcloths or scrubbies. In the past, I've done shout outs to different content creators because why wouldn't we lift each other up? Why wouldn't we share the wonderful things that other creators in our community are making while we're doing a charitable thing in and of itself? So I've done that. Some of the things I make up are on my own. Some are from other tutorials, free patterns, or just in my own head. I made this waffle stitch washcloth. This right here I thought was wonderful. It feels amazing. I haven't done the waffle stitch before. I don't know. Have you done this before? It's a very simple crochet pattern. There's a ton of tutorials out there on it. Really easy to execute. You're doing some um, double crochets and single crochet or yeah double crochets and you've got uh, a lot of front and or back post double crochets. Uh, Carrie probably not so. Well, no, Carrie might be interested in it. I think uh, Amanda on uh, Tap Mom on the Beg Brigade is the one that doesn't like to do it. She calls it crochet gymnastics. So I thought that was a really nice one. Just a, a fun, simple stitch pattern. Easy to work through, easy to enjoy. Uh, let's see, that particular yarn is the white version of, oh, there you go, of this. It was Nako Calico, and that was an off-white. I did get these at a local yarn store on sale. They were $2 in the clearance bin. I'd never used them before, but it sounded fun to me. And at $2 at a local yarn store, I was all over it. Uh, this is a cotton acrylic blend. Uh, it's a light number three. I thought it'd make a good washcloth. So I had that in the cream color and used that. The other washcloth, I decided I was going to get a little crazy on the pattern and have fun. I used some of the I Love This Cotton Hobby Lobby. This was one of their clearance colors and it is black sparkle. Black with green sparkles. Looks very Christmassy to me. I had fun with this. So did a nice simple increase on the uh, the center portion. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I did uh, 10 double crochets, then increased to 20 double crochets, and then and the uh, and then did another two. I increased for 40 double crochets. So that was the center three. And then these added the crochet bobbles. I carried my yarn in the back. I could have cut it here and made it a cleaner line, but I thought it's a washcloth. It's okay. I can handle that. I, I can deal with that. So it's the nice green sparkle and then that cotton right here. Um, I like putting bobbles and popcorn stitches in the washcloth because I think it adds that texture to it. I also like to end a lot of my projects. You can see right here, that is re uh, the reverse single crochet or the crab stitch. It's called many different things. But to me, it really gives a good finished uh, elevates the project. I, that's the way I describe it. It gives it a nice finishing touch. It, it really does. It's like this. I put the, the shells around the edge. It gave it a finishing touch. Uh, it looked too raw and unfinished to me. Otherwise, it needed something. Uh, whether you single crochet around it, you do the reverse single crochet shells, something that just says, yes, it's complete. So I thought that was good. So I will be sending these off. I have a stack now of washcloths and scrubbies that I will be able to uh, send off and uh, just thought you might want to see those. So I've got some ideas for some for next week that I think are going to be fun. Nice ways of doing pattern stitch samplers. I'll link those too because I've got it there in my head at the moment but I've got some 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 things that next Sunday I think will be exciting so definitely take a chance. 
come on back, listen, have fun. Oh, and if you haven't looked, Fun Size Friday is a thing. I have uh, the book that I'm using right here, the mini Emma Gurumi. And right now I'm giving away a copy of this book. So go check out Fridays and make a comment and uh, have your chance to enter in that particular giveaway. Thank you, everybody. It has been such a joy talking to each and every one of you. I will talk with you later. Bye-bye.